Hi, in this video I'll show you how to do a closest match lookup with Power Query. So what do I mean by closest match? So what we want to do is we want to match the quantity here with this quantity and have the closest match. So for example, 748, what's the closest match to 748? Well, it's going to be 500. We want to bring back that percentage, 0.5 here. The closest match for 10, there's not really a match here, exact match. But the closest one would not be 100, it would be closer to 1 and it's going to be 0.1. Now generally we would use VLOOKUP to do this. I type VLOOKUP and I look up this value and we're going to look up this array here. Press F4 to lock those cell ranges here. You got the dollar signs in front of it. Comma and the column index. We want to bring back this percentage. This is the commission here. So it's the second column. And what we want to do is we want to do an approximate match. So that's going to be the closest match. Click on that. Whoops, click on that, close parentheses, press enter, and now you have our closest match. 10 is going to be 0.1 here, so that's the closest match. 199, it's not over 200, it has to be under 200, because anything that's 200 and above, we see it has to be equal to 200 above, we'll get 5%. Anything under 200 is going to be 0.2, so it gives us our 0.2 here. So you see that our ranges are here, which are aligned to our tiers. So how do we do this? We can use Power Query to do this. This is a table already. You notice that when I click on that and that, these table tools, contextual menus come up. I think I'm going to give these tables a name. So under design, let's give this table name instead of some generic table one. We'll call the sales, press tab, and under here we'll call this, let's call this just the commission or commission, or just com, C-O-M-M. -M. Press enter. I'm going to make a copy of this quantity so I can reflect, or I, so I can compare this bonus commission that I did with the VLOOKUP. Control C to copy, bring it down here, Control V to paste. So let's see how we can use Power Query to simulate what a VLOOKUP is doing here, bringing back the closest match. Under data, go under from table and range, this is not originally a table right now because when I clicked on here, you didn't see that contextual menu here. So it's going to create a table. And since I'm in here, it's selected the correct range. Click OK. And I have my Power Query Editor available. What I need to do is I need to append this query to it or this table to it. So I'm going to close, it, close and load this and close and load it as a connection right now. So it's only a connection. It's not going to put anything in this worksheet or any other worksheets. Click OK you see that table 3 is a connection. I need to bring this in into the query. So I'll click on here, under COM, go under data, and from table and range, bring it in as a table. I'm going to accept this. Oh, one thing I need to do is make sure that this particular heading is the same as that heading. So it says quantity. I need to change that to quantity. Quantity, because I'm going to append these two tables together. Press tab and click close and load and I'm going to load, load this only as a connection. Click OK. So you see I have my two connections here. This is the COM table very similar to the table I had here. My table here, if I hover over this, this is just my table 3 here which is this one. I'll take this, open it again. Now we need to add an index query because we will be able to do some sorting or sorting later on. Go to add column and we're going to add an index column starting from one. So this gives us a column to sort later on. We're going to delete this later on, but we need this column to do sorting. After that, we're going to append that commission column. Go under home, append queries, and look for the com or the com column or table, click OK. Now you notice that it's brought that in there, but it's brought that in there as rule 7 to 10. So now we're going to sort by quantity. Click the drop down and sort ascending. We'll see that the rows that help us kind of break or segment the percentages are here. We have, of course, one at 1%, our 100 at 2%, our 200 at 0.5%, and our 500 at 0.5%, and also that 200 at 5% here. We want to fill these values down so it will give us our percentages for the ones that have a null. 
So right click, go under fill, fill down. So that gives us that. What we want to do now is get rid of the ones are kind of our demarcation rows, like the one and the hundred and the two hundred. And to do that, we just get rid of these nulls. So click on the drop down, and we don't want to see the nulls anymore. All right? Now to get it back to our original order of what we had the quantity at, let's sort by the index, this index number. Click that and sort ascending. So now we have our quantity at its original form. We don't need this index column anymore. So right click, remove, and click close and load. And you see that it closes it and load it as a connection only. Let's change that to put it into our worksheet here. Right click, load to. And we want to have a table here in our worksheet. Put it in cell C13. You can see that's already selected. And Excel's smart enough to figure out this is where we want to put it. So I don't need to change that field. Click OK. And now we have our quantity here, 748.5, 0.1, 0.2, 0.5, 0.5, 0 0.2. So now when we look at our table here with the VLOOKUP, if I added something like 100, it should bring me back that 0.2. Click 100, press Tab we have our point two. I can do the same here. In that last cell, press tab, so the table expands. Press 100, press tab. No, nothing happens here, but all you need to do is refresh the query. You can either refresh it here in the pane here, or I like to just kind of refresh all. Click on that, and we have our new data here. Also notice that we have some blank space here because when I enter something in there and press enter, it expanded that table down here to cell 21. Let's make use of that. For example, let's say we have 999, press tab, press tab and it expanded the table. Let's move this table back up to where it ends at 21 so it doesn't reflect that here. Do the same thing we did earlier, data, refresh all, 999, it gives us 0.5, we have our 0.5 here. Just to test that out, click up here, press tab, 999, press tab, we have our 0.5. So that's the way that we can kind of simulate a closest match lookup, this VLOOKUP true in Power Query, using a couple steps in Power Query. And this is kind of helpful when we are doing this on a recurring basis, or if you've got a very large table, VLOOKUP will probably take a long time if you've got a very large table, maybe over 100 thousand records or whatnot, but Power Query does it pretty quickly. So either having a very large table or if you do this on a recurring basis, Power Query is probably a good way to kind of simulate the closest match lookup, this VLOOKUP true. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.